Welcome, folks. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that we did a lot of work on a suspension of our Lexus RX 330 recently, but we still have a vibration. So we're going to start tonight by checking the radial runout and then the lateral runout of the tire, the rim, and the hub. So I got out my Starrett measurement equipment, put my indicator on a magnetic base, and put the needle on the tire. And as you can see here, I've got about 65, almost 70 thousandths of radial runout. It's about 20 or so thousandths more than spec. Then I checked the lateral movement of the tire about the same. So I've got some lateral movement and both radial movement, just checking the tire. So the next question is, why is that? Where is that coming from? So we have to go in towards the center into the hub and see where that's coming from. It may be coming strictly from the tire. We don't know that yet. So the next step is to move the indicator on in and we'll do a lateral uh, run out and on the rim and don't have a way to do a radial run out of the rim unless you take the tire off but laterally it looks good five thousands maybe not bad at all so the tire is significantly uh, different than the rim so next let's pop the wheel off and see if we can find anything on the hub So without taking the, the brake disc off and the caliper off, I can do a rough check on laterally on the outside of this brake disc. So let's do that first and just see what we see here. You're seeing some movement when I turn the hub, but that's because I do have the car up on a jack uh, and it's moving a little bit, but essentially, I had zero movement as I went around the hub there laterally. Then I go around the area where the, uh, the brake pads have been running, and I don't expect this to be zero. Uh, it, could have, it could have a little bit of warpage. That really has nothing to do with how the tire runs down the road. Uh, it may have something to do with uh, movement if you uh, hit the brakes, but I don't really have that sensation right now, so I'm not too concerned. And it turns out it's not, it's not bad there either. So next we'll set up a special indicator. It's, I call it a teeter-totter indicator. And it allows me to put a needle inside or outside of the hub uh, pilot, which really does serve to center the wheel. So this is a pretty critical measurement here with the sensation I'm feeling. I'm feeling a radial up and down vibration. So this is how you check that. So as you can see, when I physically move the vehicle a little bit, I've got a little bit of movement there on the indicator, but uh, it always goes back to zero. So that hub is really, uh, really straight. I'm surprised to see that. So my next step is to send this to my local tire shop, have a conversation with them and see what they think. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Junkyard Tailgate Channel. Good day.